Hello and welcome. Talked about in our last video, top bowls being relatively done in Tampa Bay. Uh, I'm on record, officially. I think this is the last year of top bowls wearing a hat like this. Okay, you can't see, but there's a Bucks logo on the back or the front. Top's gonna be done. So let me shoot my shot here. On an idea that I've been sitting on, I've been kind of percolating on it, and I think it's a pretty good idea. If you know, if you're Jason Light, and you're in charge, and you're ready to go, you can't waste time. You can't waste resources. You can't waste assets. We're running a business. Todd Bowles is a lame duck coach because you know, post-2023, there is no more Todd Bowles. So... Keeping him around for the rest of 2023 doesn't really accomplish anything, right? Can we at least agree on that? Good. Because of that, you might as well cut your losses, save some time, get rid of him now. Right? Here's why I think that, first of all, I want to go on record and say I don't think that'll happen. But here's why I think it should. If you get rid of Todd Bowles now, you're forced to look with from within, most likely, to hire an interim head coach. Okay? See, if anybody knows where I'm going with this yet. If you do, raise your hand in the comment section down below. If you don't, stay here. We're getting there. If you have to promote from within, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, you know, usually you promote the offensive or the defensive coordinator, right? Right? If you promote the defensive coordinator, well, that's kind of Todd Bowles. I mean, yes, we have defensive coordinators on the staff, but Todd Bowles calls the play, and he's kind of the defensive coordinator. So maybe we don't promote the guy we just fired. Okay. That leaves the offensive coordinator. That guy, Dave Canales. Now, Dave Canales had a little bit of a ee, up and down short stint. But if you ever heard Dave Canales talk, if you ever listened to him in a press conference, Dave Canales is head coaching material. The man speaks well. He speaks. He's... You got to listen to him. Seriously, go on Bucks, go on the Bucks YouTube channel and watch a Dave Canales, whether they win or lose, the Buccaneers post game of Dave Canales or him, you know, getting interviewed like the Monday after a game, whatever the case is, you listen to him speak, you'll understand what I'm saying. Because of that and the fact that he is a young, kind of a, I don't want to call him a, uh, like a hot candidate to be potentially promoted down the line, but he has good stock in where he came from, his, the, the coaching tree that he's a part of. And you look at some of the potential he's flashed in a very short stint of time. I realize it's a small sample size. I know. But it's going to be just a couple games left in the end of the season, right? If Todd Bowles gets fired at the end of the season, Baker Mayfield, Dave Canales, Todd Bowles, they're a three-headed trio, and they're all gone. There's no way if Todd Bowles gets fired in January or in February, there's no way that any of those guys stay. Bowles goes, they all go, you start from scratch. If you let go of Bowles now, you could promote Dave Canales and actually get the opportunity to see him in action as a head coach on the sideline for your team wearing one of these hats with the Bucks logo on it. And see what he does. He might be good. He might be awful. We don't know. But you could see it. And what if Canales turns out to be good? Then all of a sudden you can go into the offseason. And you can make a legitimate case. Like, well, we gave Dave Canales a couple games. We gave him five games, six games. However many games you give him. And he looked good. The team had good energy. The team had good life. Do we keep him around and remove the interim tag? And then Dave Canales, if you do decide to do that, Dave Canales might say, I like Baker Mayfield. I want to keep Baker Mayfield. I can work with him now that I won't have to be beholden to Todd Bowles. Year two of the system. Let's keep Baker Mayfield. That allows you, if you're Jason Light, to firing Todd Bowles midseason, promoting Dave Canales, will allow you to see what 2024 could look like if you kept some of those characters around and had a semi-similar cast. That would give you some answers before you have to take the test, right? You understand? That's like a cheat code. 
you have free games to play with, okay? The Buccaneers are three and five. The Saints are five and four. I mean, yeah, you got a tiebreaker over them. The Falcons are meshed into the middle. The rest of the season is kind of a cheat code. If you could, I mean, it's kind of a free sample. Like you could take your time and evaluate things right now. Instead of having to evaluate them up here, you can evaluate them using your eyes on the field right now. Let Todd Bowles go. You get Canales in. See what he looks like as a head coaching candidate. See how Baker looks when the team gives him four downs instead of three all the time. You know, when when the offense is a little more aggressive. When maybe you have a different defensive philosophy there. See how it looks with a different guy as the head man. Because Bucks fans, I know some people, you know, Baker Mayfield is, you know, it's pretty split, right? But we can all agree Baker Mayfield has had moments this year where he has looked like he could really be something nice for this team to have on the roster. And then he's had moments where he hasn't looked that good. But we can all agree Todd Bowles has had a lot less moments where he has looked like that's a good head coach. And a lot of moments stacked. I mean, just a stockpile of moments where he has looked like this is not the guy. So remove the problem and see if that was the only problem. We know Todd Bowles is one of the problems or a part of the problem. Is he the only problem? Is Baker Mayfield a problem or is he not a problem? Is Dave Canales a problem or is he not a problem? If you remove one thing that you know is a problem, it allows you to reevaluate the equation. And you could do that right now. Jason has an opportunity to get that done. I think the Buccaneers would be best suited. I know it's going to yeah, you know, it's going to sting, right? But can't be worried about feelings. It's business. It's nothing personal. Right now, it's just not working. We need something different. That's the conversation that has to happen. And I just feel like put Dave Canales in there and give him a chance. What do you have to lose? More games? The same games you would be losing anyway? Okay, so that would be the equivalent of losing nothing. And what do you have to gain? Potentially a franchise quarterback, potentially a new head coach. Huh. Boy, when we talk about risk reward, that really seems worth it. I think it's worth a shot. It's a potential move towards the future, but it could also be a jolt in the arm for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the present as well. Just a thought. I'm putting it out there. It's my two cents. They're free. You can have them.